but hello again and welcome to another episode of Golf Studio TV. Today we're going to talk about the plugged line of Bunko. Uh, in this month's National Club Golf Magazine I'm featured coaching the plugged line of Bunko shot and it looks great on a camera, uh, on a uh, edited magazine but a lot of my clients have said to me, yeah, it looks good Daniel but actually how do you play the shot, can you play the shot for us? So today I'm going to demonstrate the plugged line of Bunko. First of all, off a ball on the sand. Now we're going to make it plugged. There's a good footprint on it. Kick a bit of sand over as well. So you can just about see the ball now. A couple of things different here to a normal bunker shot. Uh, one, the main thing is the ball position. So as I set up to the ball, you'll notice I've got the ball towards my right foot, back in the stance. Okay. Also, I'm using a 52 degree wedge here got a nice sharp leading edge helping me get down underneath the sand. We don't want the blade to surf through the sand like we do on a normal bunker shot. This has got to go down steep into the sand. Just remember this isn't going to come out very high because I've got the ball back in my stance and less lofted club it's going to come out low and release. So allow for plenty of room behind the flag and uh, generally try and get out the lower part of the bunker. So got the ball back in my stance, my hand's quite far forward in my setup. During the swing I'm going to pick the club up very steeply and hit down hard into the sand. Keep driving into the sand all the way through the swing. Let's see how we get on, eh? have a quick look at the divot Johnny. So the, you can see there a nice deep steep divot into the sand and obviously the ball popped out and a nice cushion. So that's a plug line of bunker using a 52 degree wedge making sure we get out of the sand. <laughs> 